I was just sampling the music of a lot of musicians and I heard his music. I heard a track Apocalypse from this game called Hitman, which is really epic. I was like, yes, this guy is confirmed crazy and I want him. Adesh was very fussy that I didn't want to be a music director. They've been listening to my music and reached out. They showed me a version of the movie they had cut together. It was very atmospheric. very organic and i felt there was a purpose behind the movie there was a strong message in this movie i wanted to be a part of this right from the moment i saw the first cut the film both in its genre and its mood it keeps changing i felt we needed somebody who can adapt to its changing moods and this madness that the film goes through meaning that uh, experimentation is uh, encouraged so that's how i created the music for a lot of the assassins creed games it was quite clear that they were not looking for a western sound per se they weren't looking for a indian sound they wanted it somewhere in the middle this was absolutely in contrast with what rahi had imagined initially i wanted tumbar not to have any background or any music i wanted to see that if tumbar only works on sound because he had seen the film in a certain way the film was shot in a certain way but you know the film evolved i was very happy when you know rai saw the film and he was like you know it looks great and the music is a good decision and finally i was really happy with jasper's work he had asked me oh, what is the reference i gave him an example of lakshmikant pyarelal track i made him see a section of ram lakhan <laughs> where you know the drums are being played then then tha 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 he is like i like the intensity of this you know i like the sound of that drum I'm like, okay that's interesting the movie needed three different music styles for the three different parts part 1 has a more of a music concrete found sound kind of music making Part 2 of the movie required a more of a focus on mysticism. The third part was more of a personal sound with solo instruments. I presented uh, the team with the idea of working with a improv experimental choir. So I had my my kids in my studio uh screaming and yelling and doing all kinds of crazy things. They loved it. There was snapping with the fingers and clapping and recording uh crickets and and, and cicadas. There's all kinds of ethnic instruments in there. The cimbalom, which is this very big table-like instrument. Something very interesting happened when when um that was played. And then I took it um and did a lot of processing with it and suddenly we had this really what I felt was like a magical uh, atmosphere. And so that's actually the music that opens up the movie. There's also um a lot of organic synthesizers in there they don't sound perfect when you turn them on sometimes they're a bit out of tune how do i get this flaw of this instrument out in its full effect that's what i'm looking for when i'm writing uh, the more electronic music this is something that also a dash brought up he said i really like the aggression of a car revving and i was thinking how do i translate it that into something organic so what i thought of was a bull roar it's like this flat wooden piece that has a string attached to it designed very carefully with little marks on it so when you swing that above your head it makes this very strange noise you can swing that faster or slower so you can create a sense of acceleration with it and it's still organic We recorded with a choir, and the music um, for that choir was a Bulgarian sound of the choir. That was actually one of the first tracks I wrote for the movie, which I call uh, "Descending." sound it has a very aggressive sound to it they sing extremely aggressive loud and and strong i think we worked for more than 8 months on creating the score of the film we spend a long time skyping every night i would get on skype around midnight and that would be in the morning for him 13 hour time difference means there's a block there where when i rest he's able to review what i sent him and then we talk about it uh, you know 24 hours later Team Tumbat was very um, supportive. I've worked very close with the Dash. Jesper in his own way has been able to bring that scale that I wanted in the film to make everything 
you know, feel big, every emotion to feel big. I think Adesh has a, a good understanding of how to bring out the most creative aspects about of, of me. It was awesome to see it all come together. Everything has been taken to another, another level now. कोई कनक कोई भनक कानों कान दिया